I know this isn't how we saw things panning out. Life never goes to plan, though, does it? We've made our decision. Maybe we should tell Diane before opening up. Won't be the easiest thing we ever do. So let's just get it out of the way. OK. You know, I'm grateful, don't you? Can we not be talking about this when Katie comes down, please? She's got enough problems of her own. How long will she be here for? A night, a month, I don't know, as long as she needs a bed. Yeah, yeah of course. Morning. Hey, fancy a coffee? Uh, yeah, great. Right, I've got stuff to do, so I'll catch you guys later. I'm so sorry, love. I know things must look a bit bleak right now. Yeah. The funny thing is, I slept better than I have done in months. Hitting charity? Well, it's made a lot of folk jealous. <sighs> yeah, who knew it'd be that enjoyable, eh? So have you thought about what you're going to do next? Well, this morning, I'm going to go and pick up the rest of my stuff. You do know he's going to try and get you back. Yeah, and it won't work. There's only so many lies you can take. Sarah, come on, please. There's one day we cannot be late. Deb, something happened at the oh, party. Jack's chosen to fall asleep right now. I thought maybe we could... Can we go now? Uh, you need to eat your breakfast. Not hungry. Well, tough. Can I have some? No, you've already had yours. I'm, I'm still hungry. No! Debs, there's something that you should know about. I need my bag. Right, we better go and find it then, quickly, please. Only a bowl of cereal. Can you go upstairs and look for it, please? No. Noah! Hey. Hey. I'm not stopping, I just bought a back-to-school present round for the special girl. Wow, it's brilliant. Thank you. You can never have too many pencil cases. Can he come round after school? Oh, no, baby, can't. Another time, maybe. Um, listen, good luck today. Yeah, and tell me about it next time I see you, yeah? Bye, then. I wouldn't have even let him through the door. Oh, what, in front of Sarah? Deb, just leave it. Fine. Well, you take Sarah and Noah to school and I'll keep an eye on Jack and then maybe we can have a chat. Right, if you want. All right, Sarah, Noah, come on, please, quick. Is Katie all right? She must be feeling like it's the end of the world. She'll get through it. Tell her she can stay as long as she wants. Diane. I'm just going to open up. No, no, this won't take a minute. You need to be part of this as well. I'm all ears. We pulled out of the finance meeting at the bank yesterday. Why would you do that? Anna's left us no choice. If I want to see the kids, I've got to take her to court. I see. Yeah, so there's no way I can afford that and the money for this place. No, of course not. We're both really disappointed. So am I. I don't know where that leaves you with going to Brisbane and that. Better open up. Hey, are we getting all right? Yeah, Sarah's friends are excited to see her, so... Well, now I've got you to myself. Thanks for tidying up, Mum. Please, we sit down? No, I can't. I've got loads to do. Debbie! I have to tell you this now, all right, because Declan and Katie have split up. Have they? And pretty soon you're going to be hearing it from everyone else. Why? What have Katie and Declan got to do with you? Well, you know how sometimes things can just happen without you thinking them through, because if you had, you'd never have done it in a million years. Well, I think I'm about to. Unless she won't shout. No, I can't do that. Kind of slept with Declan. Oh my god. And I don't even need to tell you that it was just the once and it meant nothing. Why would you do that? It was when we needed him to sign the contract for the festival. So you slept with him? Your mate's husband? No. How is that any different to what Chaz did to me? Oh, because it happened once and Chaz and Cameron were at it week after week behind yeah, the back right, of the we got. Not proud of myself. Oh, is it true that you slept with Declan? Yeah, of course it's true. Ah, do you need a babysitter for Jack? No, Mum's on it. You can hold the fort for a bit longer. Dance. No, it's the least you can do. Come on, Belle. Dad's treating me like I'm some kind of kid that needs to keep an eye on. Well, you are, aren't you? No. I've got a list of errands to run, shopping, cleaning. Fixing a holiday space, how am I to do that? Well, Belle, if you don't like it, don't get excluded from school. How about if I pay you to let me babysit? How about, if you step out of line, you learn to take the punishment? Mm. Um, is your dad up at the farm all day today? Yeah, whilst I'm doing schoolwork. Boring. Well, have fun. 
Nearly done. Three cards being collected before close of play. Right, well, we need to shift the stuff before dinner. It's not going to work. Well, it's going to have to work. Look, if we we'll meet you there at one, if we don't do it now, it's going to get found. Right? Rodney. Rodney is a completely different conversation. Hey, what did he say? That he still loves me and he would do anything to save our marriage. Just be completely sure before you write everything off. Back in a bit. My way going. Try and find someone who wants to buy half a pub. I thought you were buying it. We've had to pull out. Are you kidding? There's always been East and Steve. I wouldn't wish him on either of us. If he treats this place like he does his family, be bust in a month. Well, what's happened? No, you've got enough on your no, plate. Chaz. He's taking his ex to court over access to the kids with his skin. And here's me going on about my troubles. And there you are. So, no prizes for guessing how you found out, then? I can't take all day with this. You're not even supposed to be here. Yeah, well, hurry up and you won't be. I thought you said the coast was clear. I'll deal with it. Get in. What? Just get in before she's finished. All right, love. What are you doing here? So, how come we brought our Jack in? Because we've been cooped up at our Debbie's and he was desperate for a vodka tonic. So you and Declan, eh? Oh. Mind your own business. Free we are of you uh, gone back to work. You could stay as long as you're civilised. Civilised? What, like you telling your cousin she can trust you and then grasping you at the first moment you get? Wasn't actually what it was like. Bet you absolutely loved it. Oh, charity. Yeah, waiting for the worst possible moment before dripping your poison. Well done. You can't get enough of public humiliation, can you, Charity? Say that again. You're the one going around sleeping with your husband's best mate. <gasps> well, you know you're in the wrong when you've got him backing you up. Never your fault, is it? Actually talking to Chaz, thank you. It's not really the place. So go on, no excuse, you just came out and said it, did you? I just leave it, Charity. I never forget. All right. Come on, buddy. I was just going to take some rubbish to the tip, so I thought I'd get your dad as well, help him out. Well, I'll give you a hand. Well, you've got your work to do. <laughs> no, that's all right. Anyway, I've, I've done it all now, so... Fine. Well, I'm never going to say school's boring again. At least I see Gemma now I'm excluded. I feel like smashing a face in when I think about her. Bell, look, I'm busy, all right? And your dad thinks that you need to stay away from me, and he's right. You know, I don't need a stupid kid hanging around me all the time, so please, just, just do whatever it is you're doing and leave me alone. How'd it go? People are desperate to buy into the pub business these days. Bite me hand off. I'm sorry. So I went to the estate agent. They weren't exactly enthusiastic. I really wish that we could still go ahead. I really wish I could wait for you, hold off the sale, but to be honest, I need the money. It's loyal of you, giving up your dream for Cameron's sake. Well, he's my future, and I want to see him happy, and that means seeing his kids. It's just a shame you couldn't have had both. Let's get out there. I made this for Cameron. Oh, wow. That's brilliant. Could go around and do it to him now? Uh, no, because he's out. But listen, go upstairs and do your reading, please. I'll be up in a bit. What if I get to a word I don't know? Then just shout down. How can I if I don't know it? <laughs> well, you could just remember it and then I'll tell you what it is when we get upstairs. I'm on green books now. Oh, well done you. First day back and you're already showing him how it's done. Why you take after me, don't you, love? Well, go on then. What are you waiting for? Get upstairs. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah, go on. And if we've got time, I'll uh, read a bit of our story as well. Whatever. Oi! I'll have it. Can't believe you're just about to chuck out your own daughter's thing. Well, she made it for him. Don't you think that's a bit weird? I don't really think about it. I do envy you, Debs. Mm. Why's that? Such a simple life. You know, the only people you actually like in the whole world are your own kids. Well, everybody else has let me down. Sorry. That's what people do sometimes, though, and it's what you decide to do about it that counts. 
Is that right? Look, now Sarah's back at school, I want you to concentrate on getting things back on track and sorting things out with the people closest to you. And if I don't? You do know I'm the only person you've got left, Debbie. Well, if you're happy with that. Cool as you like. Offering me money to keep quiet. Yeah, but about what? I don't want to get you involved. How much money? But it doesn't matter, does it? I don't want it. Are you sure about that? It's too easy for him. Katie, well, he cheated on me and I'm going to make him wish that he hadn't. But it never works out well, though, does it? Revenge? It was sometimes there's nothing else you can do. You've hit charity, you've embarrassed Declan. Isn't that enough? What have you got planned? I've got something on him that could ruin him. Now all I have to do is wait for the perfect moment. <laughs>